long, long time ago, in the great kingdom of Persia, there existed an embittered king named Shariar. After learning that his wife had been cheating on him, the king's heart became shrouded in a veil of resentment, and he vowed to unleash his wrath on every woman in the kingdom. Being the king came with its own privileges. He simply ordered all unmarried women to be brought to his court so that he could wed with a new woman each night. Afraid of fate repeating itself, the king ordered his newly wed wife to be executed in the morning, never to have someone cheat on him ever again. The days went by as families surrendered their daughters to the king coming to terms with the fact that they would never see them again, until it came to Scheherazade, the vizier's daughter's turn to yield to her fate. She was a young, witty woman, and she refused to have her life taken from her for a crime she never even committed. Alas, what power did a frail woman have when pitted against the king of a great empire? Perhaps an infinite amount, if she could put her smart wits to use. After her wedding to the king, she was brought to his bedroom to spend one last night with her husband, before being swept by winds of oblivion in the morning. Slowly, she began to set her plan in motion. She asked the king if he would like to hear a story, and the king decided to go along with it not having high expectations. Scheherazade began telling her husband such a gripping story that the king simply couldn't wait for it to finish. However, being the witty woman she was, she stopped the story right before the end, telling the king that she would only finish it the next night. Having fallen victim to his own curiosity, the king ordered to postpone the execution of Scheherazade until hearing the end of her story. And that day wouldn't come sooner than 1,001 nights. After hearing story after story for nearly four years, the king realized that he'd fallen deeply in love with Scheherazade, and his vengeful heart had finally found peace. He ultimately decided to spare the life of the woman he loved and spend the rest of his days ruling the great empire with his new queen.